I'm, you know, I apologize. It's the longest net cutting in in the history of the ACC tournament, so I apologize. Uh, but it was a happy one. Uh, you know, the very first thing, we'd like to thank the city of Charlotte. Uh, they put on a great tournament. I mean, it, it was, I, we won, so no matter where it would be, it would be pretty good. But uh, Charlotte did a great job, and this Serena did a great job. Uh, it's an honor for us to win. You know, this is the best conference, especially this year. And I'm proud of my guys. They beat three uh, outstanding opponents. And uh, um, and tonight was a physical, really hard-fought defensive game. And uh, our guys played good defense again. So proud of them. And uh, you can ask them questions. You know, those six games I sat out, um, when you see your brothers going to war, you know, battling, and there's nothing you can do but sit on the sideline and, you know, cheer. There's nothing wrong with that, but I'm not that type of person. I want to be out there with them. And, I mean, I made a commitment to them, and I'd be a bad person if I went back on my commitment. With Zion being back, um, I mean, when, even when he was out, uh, teams were really, really doubling down on, on RJ when he was attacking and things. So with Zion being back, they, they leave me even more now. And so I'll have to be able to step up and be able to make plays, um, even more scoring plays now, so it can open up for, for them to play their games as well. We really emphasized at halftime to come out um, the second half and really, you know, punch them first. So once we got that, we, we were able to kind of, you know, sustain it, you know, throughout the rest of the half. You know, we had a very difficult time winning, winning tonight. Uh, I think they're really good. I think they're better. We're better than when we played them, and they're better. But, uh, yeah, there's so many guys, uh, not, there are a number of guys who are deserving of coach of the year, and I'm not knocking Tony because his team's so good. But, you know, what Leonard did was being one and four, and what are, you, what are they, 27 and seven? You got to be kidding me. You know, I mean, to keep his team together and go through the ACC, finish fourth, outstanding, outstanding job. We believe that we're a good offensive team. Actually, tonight, uh, I'm not sure how many games we've had where all, all four of the freshmen were in double figures. And, uh, you know, n not many turnovers. And it was very balanced. Usually, in like when Zion was out, uh, RJ had to put up a lot of – a lot, and he's put up a lot the whole year. And then the two of them put up a lot together. And then tonight, though, Cam hit a big three. And uh, at earlier in the year, Trey was just happy running the team and, and did a great job. He's still happy running the team. But he, uh, he can score, and uh, we need that. And he, he knows that better now. And so uh, we're just more balanced, uh, and we uh, have a lot of conf They have a lot of confidence in one another. Again, middle of the room. Joe Bombo, SB Nation Radio. This is for Coach K. Could you just elaborate on how does it feel to have Jay Bills present this award to you guys tonight and see this is basically the future of Duke right here? Well, it's not the future. It's the now. Uh, unless you guys – did you tell him something? No, I just <laughs> – Oh, it's a nice surprise. <laughs> you guys got together beforehand, huh? All right. I'm going to start crying. Relax. Uh, tears of joy. Tears of joy. Uh, you know, having Jay present it, they were the first team for me that won in 86. And uh, um, we've tried to continue to recruit uh, that level of young man. And these guys are not just terrific players, but they're really good guys and good students uh, most of the time. And uh, uh, they're, they're balanced. And you know what? They, they have great families. And so they've been so easy to coach. And just like Jay and Johnny, Tommy Amaker, Mark Allery, those kids. So you know, that's why I've been here so long, 39 years, because it's uh, – you have good kids, and it's a great school, and good things have happened. I think teams come into the tournament 
first of all, uh, very happy that they're in the tournament. And then once you decide, are you only going to be happy or are you going to try to do something in the tournament, will determine how far you go in it. And, and, and that's at each juncture. Are you happy to make it? Are you happy to, you know, go to the Sweet 16? Are you happy? You know, you know really you should, if you want to be a championship program, you should only be happy if you win it all. And, and that's so damn hard to do. But um, I don't think you're going to get there if you're happy along the way. You know, you, you got to be, you know, you've got to be proud of, of each win. But you've got to maintain a level of hunger uh, for the ultimate prize. And uh, you know, our conference has done a good job of that. You know, we've had, uh, especially us in Carolina, you know, national championship programs. And, you know, um, that's what I've learned along the way is, uh, you know, not to be satisfied, you know, not to uh, – not to rationalize that it's okay, all you know, and and because uh, in these tough moments, rationalization can be the biggest opponent that you you have at times. You know? All right. Okay, thank you. All right. Thank you.